After 15 years in the acting industry, these are the top 15 lessons I've learned. What's up, my fellow actors? Welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me today. If it's your first time here, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice. Also, if you haven't already downloaded my free 10-step audition preparation guide yet, you can get it from that link right up there. I call it my audition cheat sheet, and it's my own audition preparation process that has helped me book over 50 movies and television shows. So if you want to download that for free you can get it from that link right up top all right today is a special day because it marks the 15 year anniversary of when i started acting that's right on march 24th of 2008 i walked into my very first acting class at the hood school of acting in cleveland ohio so today is a day of celebration we're celebrating my 15 year anniversary and i thank you for being here with me now when i walked into that very first class i had no plans of changing careers and becoming a professional actor, but nobody can predict the future. And 15 years later, here we are. So I thought the best way to kind of commemorate the day would be to share my top 15 pieces of advice after 15 years. So these are my top 15 lessons that I've learned after 15 years as a professional actor in no particular order. Let's get started. Lesson number one, you are not too old to start. It's one of the most common questions that I get in the comments of my YouTube channel. Someone will ask, hey Kurt, am I too old to start an acting career? I am fill in the blank years old. And no matter what age they said, I will always say, nope, you are not too old to start an acting career. How do I know that? Well, first of all, I didn't start when I was a child. I didn't start until I was in my late 20s. And I also have acting friends that started in their 30s, 40s, 50s, or even 60s. In fact, my favorite story about this topic involves an actress by the name of Dorothy Steele. You see, in uh, 2014, Ms. Steele decided that she wanted to start an acting career at the bright young age of 88. Over the next seven years before she passed at the age of 95, Dorothy Steele appeared in movies such as Black Panther, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Jumanji, multiple Christmas movies, and a bunch of television shows. It's one of the most inspiring stories that I've ever heard involving an actor starting later in life. Life. So if Dorothy Steele can start an acting career at the age of 88 and be successful, then you are definitely not too old to start. Lesson number two, avoid the comparison trap. Theodore Roosevelt once said, comparison is the thief of joy. And what that means is that if you're constantly comparing yourself to others, you're essentially robbing yourself of happiness. And this is so true when it comes to actors. Because it's really easy to be discouraged when you see other actors succeeding while you are struggling along in your career. But instead of comparing yourself to them, it's so important to focus on your own journey because their journey is unique to them and your journey is unique to you. So the next time you see other actors succeeding, look to them for inspiration instead of for comparison. The problem with comparison is that it never ends. There's always going to be somebody out there who has something that you don't have, whether it be money or success or youth or something else. And if you're constantly comparing yourself to others, you're never going to be satisfied with what you do have. So avoid that comparison trap at all costs in your acting career. Lesson number three, slow down. When actor Andre DeShields won his Tony Award a few years ago at the age of 73, he said in his acceptance speech, slowly is the fastest way to get where you want to be. And as an actor, taking the time necessary to do things right and to build a strong foundation is actually the fastest way to achieve your goals in the long run. Here's an image that you've probably seen me share before in my YouTube channel. And I think it really illustrates the importance of taking small steps rather than trying to do too much all at once. So when you're a complete beginner, you don't need an agent right away. You don't need to be in a big Hollywood movie right away. Patience and persistence is really the key to becoming a successful actor. So don't rush into things and take the time to do the right things and to lay that foundation. Trust that the slow and steady approach is really the fastest way to get you where you want to be. 
Lesson number four, train consistently. When I look at my friends who are successful actors, the ones that are finding the most success are the ones who are training consistently. I've been acting for 15 years and I've always taken acting classes throughout my entire career. I'm actually taking a class right now and I'm learning a ton from it, not only from the teachers, but also from my fellow classmates. And I'm always on the lookout for another class that uh, where I can learn something new to add to my actor toolbox. Now, every time that I bring up acting classes on my YouTube channel, there's always someone in the comments that will say something like, oh, but what about so-and-so actor who achieved success and they never had any formal training? Well, I agree. I fully acknowledge that there are actors who found success and never took an acting class in their lives. But what I'll say is this, there are also examples of people who dropped out of high school and went on to become millionaires. But does that mean that the most likely way to become a millionaire is to drop out of high school? Does that mean that the best piece of advice for someone who wants to become a millionaire is to drop out of high school? I don't think so. I'm encouraging you to take acting classes so that you can maximize your potential. Look, there's no guarantees in this industry at all, but there are certainly ways that you can stack the deck in your favor to improve your odds. And I think one of the most important things that you can do to put you on that right path is to consistently train throughout your career. Lesson number five, network. Now networking goes hand in hand with acting classes as two of the most important things that you could do for your career. Now, if you're already taking acting classes, good news, you're already networking. You're already meeting the teachers and the students, so they are your growing professional network. Now, when I talk about networking, I don't mean like bumping into Steven Spielberg at a coffee shop and exchanging contact info. I mean building those strong professional connections with people in the industry who are around you so that you can help each other out. Your network is gonna be a major part of that strong foundation that we talked about earlier. And you never know when one of those connections that you made in the past is going to pay off in the future and down the road. Uh, one of my friends told me the story of how he met someone when he was a young actor and then 20 years later, that person remembered him when they were producing a TV show and they asked him to audition and then he got the part, turned out to be one of the biggest parts of his career. 20 years in the making. So start building your network now and continue to build it throughout your career. Lesson number six, find a way to get on set experience. There is no better teacher than experience. So find every way possible to get as much experience as you can on set or on stage. Now, this could be as a background actor or as a production assistant or on a small student film or indie project or on a community theater production, all of which can be done, by the way, without an agent. Now, if you've never been on a movie set before, I highly encourage you to do some background work. This is an incredible way to get on set and learn how things are done. As a background actor you don't have any lines to memorize the spotlight isn't on you so it's it's a low pressure way to take it all in I think it's kind of like a being paid minimum wage to go on set and learn. It's also a wonderful place to network with other actors and filmmakers. So I highly encourage you to find a way to get on set as much as possible. And if you haven't done it before, I think the easiest way is to be a background actor. Lesson number seven. Bookings are few and far between. Okay, here's a part of the acting career that can be somewhat deflating for new actors to hear. Throughout the course of your acting career, you are going to not book the vast majority of your auditions. No matter how good of an actor you are, you are going to not book way more often than you do book. A very good booking percentage for a professional actor is 10%. That means if you only book one out of every 10 auditions, you're actually doing pretty good. And for a beginner actor who doesn't have much experience, their booking percentage might be under 5%. And that's still perfectly normal. So you'll have to be able to accept the fact that you'll be hearing no 90 plus percent of the time when you audition. And look, this isn't just me talking. Even Oscar winning actors have talked about how their booking percentage is 10%. So even if your acting is Oscar level, you can expect to not book the vast majority of your auditions. 
Now, if you're new and you're hearing these numbers for the first time, I don't want you to be discouraged. I'm telling you this so that you won't just up and quit when you don't book your first few auditions. Look, every single actor goes through this. Every single actor goes through long periods of time of not booking. In fact, just last year, I went through my longest drought ever of 81 straight auditions without booking, and that was 14 years into my acting career. Uh, I have an actor friend who told me that he recently went through a streak of over a hundred auditions without booking, and this is a professional actor. So I don't want you to be discouraged if you're not booking right away. Just understand that it is a totally normal part of the acting career. Lesson number eight, have a life outside of acting. We've talked about it before in other videos how this career is so unpredictable and is a huge roller coaster with a lot of ups and downs. And if you just ride that emotional roller coaster all the time, it can be mentally draining. So I think it's really important to have a life outside of acting with other hobbies and other interests to kind of balance out your life a little bit. Plus having those other hobbies and interests can also improve you as an actor, it can also make you a more well-rounded actor. For example, if let's say you take up rock climbing and then two years later you get an audition for a role that requires someone to be a rock climber and you say, oh, I can play that on TV because I know how to do it in real life, right? So having these other interests not only can help you mentally as a human being, but also can help you in your acting career as well. Ultimately, we just have to have other things in our lives that make us happy. We can't rely on acting as our sole source of happiness. I've heard some people say in the past, I'm, I'm only happy when I'm on set. Well, you're not gonna be happy very often then because even the most uh, famous actors in the world that are working a ton, they might be on set 100 days out of the year, 150 days out of the year. That's less than half the year. Are you just gonna be miserable for the other half of the year? We have to have other things in our lives to balance out this crazy acting career that we have. Lesson number nine, have an income outside of acting. In the early stages of your career, there will probably be quite a few years where you will be spending more money on your acting than you will be earning from it. That's why it's so important to have an income outside of acting to help support you. Now we've already said how unpredictable this industry can be and how much of a roller coaster it is. And there is very much a financial roller coaster involved as well. There are years where I've made a lot of money acting. There are years where I've made very little money acting. And it's it's just so hard to predict what it's going to be. For example, how much money is, am I going to make this year as an actor? It's almost impossible for me to make a, a realistic guess. So having that secondary income is a great way to balance the unpredictability of actor finances. Now, having that secondary income isn't just for new actors. I think it's important for any actor to have other sources of income. I, can, I still have other sources of income even 15 years into my career because I don't ever wanna be the actor that goes to an audition thinking I have to book this job because I need to make rent because that all of a sudden puts you in a terrible headspace. You're no longer focused on the audition. You're no longer focused on the character. In the back of your head, you're consistently thinking about the money side of things and you're not gonna be able to express yourself as an actor in the best way possible for that role. So having another source of income that you can rely on beyond your acting income can be really, really helpful to your acting career as a whole. Lesson number 10, don't set arbitrary deadlines for your career. It's so natural to have goals and have a timeline in mind of when you want to reach certain milestones for your career, but be careful not to set these arbitrary deadlines and when those achievements need to happen. We've already talked about how the entertainment industry is so unpredictable and there's so much that goes into an actor's career that we don't have any control over. So it doesn't make sense to put deadlines on things where we have little control. It's like saying, oh, I, I'm going to set a deadline for when the next earthquake is going to happen and tie that to my acting career success. Well, that doesn't make sense because we can't predict when that's going to happen. So whenever I hear a young actor say something, Something like I'm gonna give myself five years to succeed as an actor that that doesn't make sense to me because there are so many great actors successful actors now who didn't find any success in their first five years but they continue to persist and then through the long term they were able to build a very successful acting career here's a great quote from James Clear the author of Atomic Habits don't rush but don't wait 
act with urgency, but release yourself from the need to achieve it on a particular timeline. When you think longer term than most, you can think bigger than most. If it takes years, start now. So start thinking longer term. Don't put arbitrary deadlines on your acting career. Lesson number 11, create your own content. As far as I know, there is only one way to guarantee that you will get a part in a movie, and that is to write the movie yourself and cast yourself in the movie. Now, I'm not talking about writing a big Hollywood blockbuster movie. I'm saying just write and create your own short film or a small independent feature film. We've already talked about how much of this career is outside of our control, so here is a way that we can take some of that control back. Create your own content. If you're a brand new actor and you don't have any footage for your demo reel, you don't have to wait until you book something and then wait to get that footage back so that you could put it on your demo reel. Why not shoot your demo reel yourself? Create your own short film, film it, act in it, edit it, and take that footage and put it onto your demo reel and you've done it all yourself. Look, we all have a camera in our pockets these days. Make use of it. Create your own content. Lesson number 12, find your tribe. Now this is different from networking like we talked about earlier. Networking is more the hundreds of people that you've met throughout your career that you've connected with on a professional level. Your tribe on the other hand is a much smaller group of people uh, that are in your acting or filmmaking community that are here to help lift you up and support you and vice versa. These are people who not only understand you, but also understand the challenges that come with the acting career. They're gonna be there to help you celebrate all your wins, big or small, and they can also be there to support you when you're going through some down times as well. Now, finding your tribe can also help you stay motivated and inspired. When you surround yourself with people who are just as passionate about acting as you are, you're more likely to stay focused and work harder to achieve your goals because hey, everyone's there to help each other do that. Lesson number 13, luck is a major part of this career. I've talked about luck in some of my other YouTube videos, and it's important to understand that luck plays a major role in every single actor's career. We've talked already about how a lot of this career is outside of our control. We rely on people to make subjective decisions that affect our successes and failures. And sometimes when those decisions are made in our favor, we call it getting a lucky break. But other times when we have bad luck, we consider it unfair. For example, let's say you audition for a role in a movie and come to find out the director cast one of their friends for the role and we think, oh, that's unfair. But why not make that work in your favor if it's gonna happen anyway? So start building your network, start meeting directors, and maybe at some point down the line, a director friend of yours is gonna cast you in their movie instead of casting somebody that auditioned for the part. As you gain more experience, as you build your network, as you establish more credibility, what you're doing is you're, you're stacking the deck in your favor. Remember we talked about that earlier. We're stacking the deck in our favor and we're creating our own luck. And all of that comes with the effort that you put in over an extended period of time. So don't give up on yourself too early. Start building your luck now so that you get more of it in the future. Lesson number 14, professionalism will take you far. At the end of the day, your professionalism will probably have just as big an impact on your acting career as your talent. Instead of trying to blow them away with your talent all the time, why not try to blow them away with your professionalism as well? Things like showing up on time, being prepared for your auditions or your rehearsals, being kind and courteous to your colleagues and to crew members, all of these things are remembered. In the entertainment industry, your reputation is everything. And, and the actors who show professionalism throughout their careers and are professional to everybody that they meet, those people are remembered and those people are the most likely to be recommended by other people throughout the industry. A very talented actor who is disrespectful or unprofessional or just difficult to work with, they're not gonna have a very long career in this industry. So. Make sure you think about your professionalism just as much as you think about your talent. Finally, lesson number 15, there is no one path to success. It's important to remember that there is no one single way to succeed as an actor. There are many different paths to success and what works for one person may not work for somebody else. Everybody has their own journey, which is why we shouldn't compare, like we said earlier, right? There's also no way to predict in the beginning 
what path our journey is going to take. For someone, they might find success very early. For someone else, it may take a number of years to find the same level of success. For one person, they may start acting for a while and then take an extended break and then come back to acting years later and that's when they find success. For other people like me, I had a career before I started acting. I was working in a completely different industry and then I later found my way into this career. So everybody kind of finds their own journey. So it'll be really Really interesting to see what path opens before you. Keep in mind that success in this industry involves some combination of talent, hard work, and luck. So stay focused on your goals, continue to work hard, and follow whatever path opens up in front of you. Good luck and safe travels on your path as an actor. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here to celebrate my 15 year anniversary as an actor. I hope those 15 tips were helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.